Welcome to chapter 13, lesson 3. This is an introduction of area, hands-on model area. Remember, area answers the question, how much space is inside the object? How much space is inside the object? A square with a side length of one unit is called a unit square. So that's, that's what we've been talking about here. Just like unit fraction was one-fourth or one-third or one-half, a unit square is just one unit long. That could be one centimeter or one inch or one yard or one mile. Okay? Shading or covering a unit square results in a one square unit. So normally we show them shaded when we have it. Just like with fractions, when it was one fourth, we showed it shaded. The same. A unit square has one square unit of area and can be used to measure area. Area is the number of square units needed to cover a figure without overlapping. So, like this square, we've put in a unit squares inside, and then we count how many. So this is the length, which is going this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is the length, and this happens to be feet. And the width, remember width is going up. That is one, two, three. So the width is three. So area, again, is how much space is inside. So how much is covered. So we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And that is the area, 21. Okay. So find the area of the rectangle shown in the table. So length. Okay, let's do length first. One, two, three, four. So the length is four units. Now we don't know if this is inches or centimeters or squares, so we're just going to put UN for units. Okay, this is rectangle, the length, one, two, three, four. So again, four units. One, two, three, four. Four units of one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this one's five units long. Now, width. That's normally what we talk about, it's the up and down. Now, again, it doesn't really matter because I could flip it over and then this one's would be the length. But generally, Generally, which length is this one and width is this one. Okay, so width. Okay, so how tall is it? It's only one tall, one unit. And this one is two units. This is one, two, three units. One, two, three units. Now, let's find out how many square units? Now, when we say square units, you can do like this unit squared. That means squared. This little two up top means a number times itself. So squared, because this is a. Um, it's, these are squares. This is a square unit. So we just call it area is whatever it is squared. So if it's inches, we'd say inches squared. If it was centimeters, we'd say centimeters squared. Or miles, we'd say squared mile. Or kilometers, we'd say kilometers squared. That's just how mathematicians do it. So how many do we have all together? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Units squared. One, two, three. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve units squared. And one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 units squared. All right, and then we can do this in class where we'll draw a rectangle and we'll find the length and the width and then we'll find the area. But this is to get you started so that when we talk about it in class, you'll be able to do the activity. And while you're thinking about it, see if you can find a pattern between the length and the width and what ends up being the answer of square units. Maybe you'll be able to figure out the formula, which in math means the rule, the rule about how to find area when we know the length and the width. Okay, so don't need to do the rest because the rest is an in-class activity. Just hold off there. And let's just, uh, hmm, since we're talking about things being multiplied by itself, maybe we'll draw, draw some twins. There we go. <laughs> and uh, little kitty cat. Two kitty cats. Might as well, right? All right. I will see you in class.